10, each 13. One of those, each one of those vertical lines is a pulse. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. Yeah. So that's a, this is good for seeing the pulses. This is good for measuring the, the, okay. their height. OK. Each click is a pulse. And this is at milliwatts per centimeter okay, square? Okay, well I can, this is uh, microwatts per centimeter square. Microwatts, that's, yeah. a, that, that's is, an industry standard. This is a different, slightly different order of magnitude. But the clicks tell you about the number of pulses. And since they're millisecond pulses, you don't know, really you can't hear everyone, because simply yeah. we haven't got the ears for it. So PG &E numbers. Yeah, uh, one foot, they're telling us. Uh, one foot it is eight point eight. And then we're about a foot away here. Yeah. And yeah. so right now there was there was a thirty, there's a forty. We we had a was these, it, what was the high one we had? Oh yeah, four four hundred and fifty. I mean it, it's these are peaks. These are the power density of the peaks. And yeah. they are getting their number with time averaging. Yeah. 160. Oh, that was 4. 445. Oh, yeah. that's nice. 392. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is not good. Now, the 580 figure is for 30 minutes for a two, for 10 centimeters of flesh. Okay? So the government actually doesn't have any um, cumulative standards, uh -huh. any, uh, you know, uh, general field standards. Uh -huh. There's nothing except this thing of of heating uh -huh. 10 centimeters of, of tissue uh -huh. to a, a, a one degree or two yeah. degrees. I've forgotten uh -huh. what the figure is. So, and that's what the 580 figure is. Yeah. And that's for 30 minutes. Yeah. So, uh, and the SAR thing is, is all about a six foot high man of oh, 776. Oh, no. yep. <laughs> yep. Well, that's. that's my, let me, uh, from, from my, I, it's a while since I did math, but I remember. Um, 700 being bigger than 8. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I might take a math like Oh, so it's, oh wow. 867, yeah. <laughs> that sounds like you had a good education. <laughs> More than some of the people that are making these, these, these uh, policy decisions for us. Oh, and um, what have you got in your hand now? This is a... This is a, a tri-field meter. It just measures simple electromagnetic fields. This is a strong electromagnetic field. Even if these were regular meters, you would have a strong electromagnetic field. That's because it's where all the electricity for the building comes in, and so it's just a strong field. And it's, it's pretty much, you know, like redlining. Um, yeah, oh, yes, three milligas is what you, you don't want to live over three on that top. Uh, and top that is, you're, you're, you're over three. Yeah, you're at 100. Yeah, now, interestingly, smart meters make the electromagnetic, it make it pulse as well. You see that? Oh, yeah, it's wiggling. Yeah. So the smart meter pulses are not just RF. They're also electromagnetic pulses. Okay. And lower down in the spectrum. All right. Those are have been long recognized to have biological effects uh -huh. and are carcinogenic and not on the possible list but on the recognized list for yeah. the uh, WHO. Uh -huh. Hi Patrick, this is Denise Alexander from pg and &E. I spoke with you earlier today. Patrick, I talked with my manager and they would like to respectfully decline the invitation um, to speak with your group. We have no problem um, doing it if you want us to come out at a later date and just answer questions in general. Uh, we just don't want to get into a debate type of situation. Also regarding the questions on property value and liability, um, those types of questions, that wouldn't be something that our particular presenter would be able to answer. But if you'd like me to have someone from our legal department give you a call personally and answer those questions for you, let me know and I will have him contact you.